It was another good day for the batsmen at Taunton as Somerset ended the opening day of their latest championship match against rivals Nottinghamshire, well placed once again. Justin Langer won the toss and if you win the toss on wickets like these you bat and it looked like a good decision the way that Marcus Truscothic started. He's been brilliant again this season and these shots took him past 1,000 championship runs, the first player to reach that landmark this year. He struck 37 of 40 balls with seven crisp boundaries when he was surprisingly out as he edged Andre Adams to Ali Brown. Aral Sapir had not got started while Sir Scothic was blazing his trail, but having been joined by his captain, he started easing into his innings. Langer was the more free-flowing of the two. He's been in great form of late, and his little dressing room aside that he would return to the Aussie team if asked, made the headlines because such a decision would not seem out of place. He went to an almost effortless 50 and was scoring runs at a very good rate. He would have been aware again that a big first inning score is imperative at Taunton if there's going to be any chance of getting a result. Sapir was far more patient in a stand which realised 122 runs, but he too reached another 50. But then from nowhere almost, Ryan Sidebottom produced a fantastic spell as Knotts picked up three wickets for just five runs. Sapir couldn't get out of the way of a quick ball and was taken by Chris Reid on 51. Then having just been struck for another boundary, the same bowler trapped Langer in front for 79 when yet another 100 looked on the cards. Wes Durston given a rare outing, then Nick Sidebottom behind second ball and Somerset had slipped to 172 for four. Much has been said about Somerset's strength in batting this season and it was proved again as Xander De Brain and Craig Kiesretter then reacted brilliantly with a partnership of 108 to put their side back on top in a game which could have a major bearing on the championship title. This has been an unforgettable summer for Kiesretter and I'm sure there'll be many more to come from him as he went to his 50. He would have been hoping to end the day on the business end of a century as he was playing some typically fine shots. Then with half an hour to go, Notts got the wicket they needed as Mark Elam had Kiesretter taken by Reid for a 67 made from only 83 balls and coming at a time when Somerset had lost the initiative. De Brain survived until the close and went to his patient 50 in doing so, finally ending the day on 62 as he finished the day with a bit of a flourish. He was supported well by Peter Trigo who struck two early fours in his score of 13. If the expected rain keeps away, these two will be looking to build on the score of 316 for five on day two.